So I was surfing on eBay the other day, and I found something that caught my eye. EQ Store was selling an LCD controller board that seemed half decent. So here's a review for the M.N268676.2A2 DIY LCD controller board. So my first impressions of this product were great. The board came in a small box with anti-static film. The board itself is pretty bare bones and comes with the LCD controller and a set of buttons to control the LCD with. The setup was pretty simple. I used an old wood board I had lying around, six screws, and an electronic screwdriver. I screwed the board into the wood using pre-drilled holes. Once that was in securely, I screwed in the button board again using the pre-drilled holes. The final step was simple, plug in the display cable into the LCD. Once that was done, I needed to find something to power it. One of the major downsides of this kit is it doesn't come with a power cable. Luckily, I had a 12 volt power cable lying around from my old router, so that problem was resolved. I plugged in my half broken first generation Chromecast and the power in, and the LCD came to life. Well, not really, I still need to press the power button, but let's just forget about that. The LCD fired up almost instantly and the image was incredible. Thumbs up to this board. If you're wondering, the display is an old LG I got from a Sony laptop. Anyway, for around $36, this kit is well worth the money if you're a hobbyist and enjoy making cool stuff. Speaking of cool stuff, I just created a new technology blog with Plexation. You can find all sorts of technology and game reviews there, as well as the radio show we do every week. You can find the link to that website on the screen and in the description. Also, what do you think of my new style? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the poll on your screen now. Anyway guys, this about sums up the review, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.